What's up guys, Kyle here with Crypto Theory. All right, we've got an update video. We talked about this project, Aqua Goat here, uh, I don't know, a few days ago, I guess, when we did the low cap altcoin gem video. And I wanna kind of circle back to this a little bit. We've had a lot of people uh, asking us, reaching out about this. Can we cover this a little bit more? And we've seen this, uh, you know, pretty extensively in different, you know, Facebook groups, different social media uh, circles that we're in and everything. A lot of people talking about this project, wanting to know more information about it. So you know, hey, you guys ask, we're going to deliver on that, uh, you know, and, and try to cover everything that we possibly can for it. Okay, so I want to circle back and talk a little bit more about this project and kind of give you some extra thoughts on could this potentially be a diamond in the rough? Could this potentially be one that has that moonshot potential that everybody's looking for? So guys, before we jump in, make sure to smash up the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notifications. You guys know the drill. We love you guys. We're getting so close to 10,000 subs. We really appreciate all the love that you guys are giving us and all the support. And with that being said, let's jump in and let's talk about this project a little bit right here, okay? So you can see down, you know, almost 6% today. Another one of those super low cap, you know, super high circulating, supply and everything uh you know meme coins if you will and everything but they've been all the craze okay obviously the crypto space is down right now it's not you know not out not professional financial advice as always it's down i don't believe it's it's out bitcoin dominance back on the rise a little bit 24 hour volume not exactly where we want to see it it's, it's less than ideal right now but i do believe personally uh that it that things will turn back around and when it does I think you're going to see people again looking to cash in on those long shots and hopefully, you know, get uh, get a big winner. And you know, looking at this project right here, it could potentially be one that that ends up being a big winner. Okay, this is a Binance Smart Chain project. You can see it right there. There's the contract for it. You can check out all of their different social accounts right there. We're not really going to dive into that. What I want to talk about though is I want to look at the at the charts as far as what's been going on with this project since it launched and then also i want to show you guys their website so you can kind of see what they've got going on and why I look at this and see that this could potentially be something that does really take off. Okay, so you can see right here, it did have quite a rise uh, shortly after it launched. Okay, so not that long after, you know, about a week after it launched, it did have quite a big pump right there. But ever since then, it's just kind of steadily been going down. Okay, and it actually is down below where it initially launched at. So a lot of people might look at that and say, oh man, I don't know, over the last 14 days down 52%. Well, most of the market is okay, most of the market is down, maybe not quite that much, but it's down quite a bit. Um, but they might look at the fact and say, wow, this is down below where it previously was when it first launched and look at that as a bad thing. There's not a huge amount of trading volume going on on this right now. That's honestly, that's not out of the, the normalcy that you'll see with projects like this because it doesn't even have a market cap showing on here. And it's a very, very low cap project currently because it's so brand new. However, I want to look at what the project actually does because I do think that overall, when the market does turn bullish again, people, are, I believe at least, not professional financial advice, but I do believe people are going to be looking for these low cappers. They're going to be looking for these big 100x, 1000x potential uh, altcoins, and this could potentially be one of them, okay? They do have an active social media account, uh, but really what I want to look at is their website, okay? So you can see right here, it's a sustainable community-driven project to protect our oceans, okay? So it does have the environmental aspect to it. And, you know, we've seen coins like this do very, very well because they have missions that are similar to what they're doing here, whether it revolves around animals, the environment, um, the goal remains the same. So you can see right here, Ocean Blue Fund, 100% of all donations will go to supporting ocean uh, cleaning and conservation initiatives. Okay, so you can see right here, uh, you have the ability to be able to donate, but you can see AquaGo is a yield generating social cryptocurrency. Members of the AquaGo ecosystem earn interest from network activity, very similar to what we've been seeing uh, more recently with a lot of these projects all while benefiting the planet through our charitable partnerships, okay? Um, and we talked about, you know, the charitable aspect of it. I believe it was Elongate when we talked about, or Elongate, whatever you want to call it, when we talked about that before. And we're going to circle back to that one at some point too, but you can see right here, similar type of thing dealing with, with charitable contributions and everything, but this has a very, very clear focus. AquaGo is a next generation uh, ecological DeFi token with a purpose, saving our oceans. Portion of every transaction sent to the AquaGo Ocean Blue Fund used to fund ocean cleaning and marine conservation initiatives. Okay, so you can see what their mission statement is, all the features, it's 100% decentralized, contracts are locked in, uh, you know, 
unruggable basically meaning that they can't have a rug pull like so many of these other projects you know they're they're uh they're seeing and everything static farming two percent per transaction directly distributed to all holders uh you know we've seen that with a lot of these these community coins and everything as well uh automated liquidity two percent fee sent to liquidity uh excuse me, for an ever-increasing price floor. 40% of supply is burned on Genesis. Burn rate increases over time. So it's a deflationary product as well or project as well. Okay, so, you know, overall, um, you know, you look at their roadmap and kind of where they're at, you can see what all their phases are. I mean, is this, to me, is this a long-term hold? You know, personally, it's very, it, it, for me, it's, it's, it's hard to say that it's a long-term hold. However, this could be something, again, if you're looking at one of those projects that has that massive potential, might not happen right away. A lot of it is going to predicate on what goes on with the market, but overall, it does have that feel of some of these other ones like Shiba and Kishu and all these other ones, Fag, that have seen these massive pumps. And you can tell this one actually saw a big pump earlier on, and then it's went you know pretty bearish since then, but it did have that big pump. So it's going to be interesting to see. And it also, will it get on extra exchanges? I mean, you can see there's CoinMarketCap, there's CoinGecko, PancakeSwap. So I mean, it, a hot bit, bit more. I mean, so it's on you know some exchanges, but if it was to get listed kind of like, like Shiba did on some big exchanges, Binance comes to mind, KuCoin, uh, that could absolutely change things as well. You can see their beneficiaries, Blue Marine Foundation, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, Coral Vita, Ocean Cons uh, Conservation Society. So as part of the Ocean Cleanups Guidelines, we're not able to list their logo uh, in our beneficiaries list. Please visit. Okay. Um, so, you know, essentially, yes, guys, this is one of those where is it a long-term hold in my, my opinion? Not necessarily a long-term hold, but not professional financial advice. If you want to take out a very small portion of your portfolio and put it into something like this, I think this has as good a shot as just about any to, to make it out of these type of projects right here because of the cause behind it. And that's something right there. Charitable contributions and the environment are things that are going to draw big crowds. Okay. That's going to have a lot of people excited about that. A lot of people backing that because they want to do good. Okay. So guys, that's all I've got for this one right here. Let us know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Aquagoat? And is it something you're interested in holding as one of your uh, cryptos that you have in your portfolio? So let us know in the comments below, guys. That's all I got. Have a great rest of your day. Catch you in the next one.